Hello there all you guys out there, it is me ShadowDude567 here with some Pokemon Showdown. Yep, I stole this series completely from Arrow. I just decided to be a jerk and I just decided to steal the series. Because I'm just a nice guy like that. So basically what's going on here guys is I started this up, I made a team, and I decided that hey, I know exactly who should be my first opponent, the esteemed Seeto. And, well, you can see how the battle went, but I gotta say, this is a pretty close, pretty intense battle, and, uh, I feel pretty happy that I won against someone who actually had played battles before. It gives me confidence, you know? So, uh, I guess we'll be seeing that in this. So, uh, why don't we, uh, just get prepared? I'm just gonna tell you guys, this battle went pretty well. Let's go. Okay, guys, well, basically, as you can see here, the battle started out with him throwing out his Apom and his fake out being used. So as you can see, that went pretty well. And then I used, decided to use my Thunder Wave on him right here. And then I used Earth Power, thinking it would do some serious damage. It didn't, and Dino ended up being a huge disappointment in the long run of things. Then he decides to send out his Diglett when I throw out my chest spin. Not the best idea, because immediately the Energy Ball is enough to immediately kill Diglett. Then he decides to send out Charmander, not realizing that I have a Fennekin. And since Fennekin can learn much, much more than Fire-type's move, I decide to use Psychic on him to do some serious damage to his Charmander. Doesn't do super serious damage, but it does a decent damage, I think. Then I decide to use a track, thinking that it'll do something useful. Then it doesn't, but I managed to still kill him with a tr with a Psychic anyway, so that went pretty well. Then he sent out his trademark, the Sphiel. I hit it with a Psychic to sacrifice my Fennekin, and there goes Fennekin. Then I decided to send out Riolu. I'm pretty sure he was probably expecting me to send out my Chespin, but I didn't. I don't think he was expecting my Riolu to know Earthquake either. Thinking my Earthquake would for some reason be effective against my, that his bag on, I use it. It was pretty effective, but Dragon Claw was super powerful on me, so. The side throw out Shield on, which, fun little fact, I upgraded its EVs and Special Defense defense EVs to be max so that it wouldn't die. And, as you can see, I had Ice Beam, so I was able to take on the, out the bag on easily. Then, Bellsprout comes in. Bellsprout was a bit of a problem for me. I was really surprised Fire Blast did not take it out just there. And if it had, that would have made this battle a lot easier. In fact, chances are I might have actually been able to finish the battle with three or two Pokemon living. But the Fire Blast did not take it out, so you can't turn back the tides of fate, can ya? So, my, so he dies, and then I had to throw out my chest spin. Tries using Sleep Powder, but it constantly fails, which I don't know why it does that. But it does it anyway, so whatever. And I decided to use Giga Drain, and... Well... Yeah, that happened. And then I decided to use Substitute to try to save myself. I use Giga Drain. It's immune. Then it uses that on me. And I die. And I use Leech Seed, actually. But as you can see here, it's using Giga Drain. And there goes Chespin. At this point, I'm getting a little scared. Because I don't know if Esper will be able to finish this off for me. I use Psychic. Super effective. Minus 34. Perfect. Then he throws out his trademark Spiel. I'm able to use a Grass-type Energy Ball and kill his Spiel right away and win the battle. So thank you guys so much for watching my debut on Pokemon Showdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I will continue to upload these videos if you enjoy them. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. And if you want more Battles of the Arrow, be sure to request them.